this, that things have changed in here a little bit. You see a lot of one color. What color do you see a lot of this morning? What color? Well, you see some brown in there. What about over there? What color is that? You see red, yeah, red and green and all the flowers. And if you look up at the banners, we see red. That tells us that today is a special day. Today is Pentecost. Today, we talk about the Holy Spirit coming to the disciples. Last time we met, I told you that Jesus had promised the disciples that there would be a helper. And that's what we're going to learn about today. So I invite you to watch the screens as I read from our World Story Bible, from the book of Acts. Let's watch and listen. A gust of wind blasted through the house in Jerusalem. The disciples jumped up from the table. Andrew grabbed the bread. John and James grabbed the cups. The tablecloth flew in the air. Plates crashed to the floor. The disciples were celebrating the festival of Pentecost. But now their meal was a mess. Andrew dropped the bread in surprise. A flame of fire floated over each disciple's head. The flames were bright red, orange, and yellow, but they weren't hot. Andrew pointed to the frames. Look! The disciples looked. John and James dropped their cups. Peter and Simon's eyes grew wide. Bartholomew's and Philip's mouths dropped open. Matthew, Thomas, and Matthias gasped. Thaddeus and the other James pointed to Andrew's head. You have a flame too. Suddenly, the disciples began to speak in different languages. Latin, Greek, Arabic, all the languages of the world. They rushed outside. We are filled with God's spirit, they shouted. God is the ruler of all. The streets were filled with Jewish people from many countries who were coming there to celebrate Pentecost. Every person, no matter where they had come from, heard the disciples speaking about God in their own language. People couldn't believe their ears. Some in the crowd sneered. They couldn't believe that the disciples could actually speak all those languages. But many other people were amazed. Peter shouted, Each of you hears our words in your own language. God's Spirit has made this possible. So yes, today we remember that day when the Holy Spirit came to the disciples. And we today celebrate Pentecost because the Holy Spirit is in each one of us. We sang that about that in our opening, opening hymn. So we remember that God's Spirit helps us spread the word about Jesus and share God's love through our actions. So we remember that flame that was on the top of the disciples' heads. When I wondered about that, I thought about another time that we see a flame. And it's when we're baptized. When someone gets baptized here, we light this candle and we hear these words, let your light so shine before others so that they may see the good works and glorify your Father in heaven. You see, that's what the Holy Spirit does. The Holy Spirit helps us to let our lights shine. Well, today's the final day for our reverse Easter basket. We remember all the stories about Jesus. And last week, we put in a figure that represents each one of us, because now we can teach others about Jesus. But we have a helper, or I should say, end. We have a helper. So today, we're going to add the flame to our reverse Easter basket. So come on up and reach in the bag, and you're going to pull out a tea tree light. And on the bottom, there's a switch. So go ahead and flip the switch, turn it on, and put it in the basket. Then you may return to your seats. You may come on up. And I'm going to invite each one of the confirmants to come over here and do the same thing because today we celebrate the Holy Spirit working through each one of you. So come on over and grab the bag. They didn't know I was going to do that. I didn't know I was going to do that, but I think it's appropriate. You want to put one in? We're all children of God. But today we celebrate you as well.
There you go. Thank you. And now I'm going to invite everyone to pray with me. Would you please be my echo? Spirit of God, we give you thanks for blowing into our lives. Make us bold like the color red so that we can share all that you are doing. Give us joyful hearts and love that spills out into the world. And together we say, Amen. Thank you.